yo, man. Nice, man. Another album. I think this like his 12th or 14th album. I don't know, man. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Never been like a big, huge Nas fan. Always recognized that he can spit. Always, always recognized that he one of the best lyricists in the game. He can definitely, he can rap, he can spit. He got a few class, a bunch of classics over the time. He got a bunch of, he one of definitely be, one of the best rappers of all time. That's a fact. But I just never was a fan of his beats. To me, his beat selection, oh, just never been, I just, I just cannot rock with his beats. I don't know. I just, I don't like Nas beats, man, so I definitely was feeling glad when he was saying that, like, I understood what he was talking about, but he can definitely spit, I just wish he had, like, different production or whatever, but, other than that, man, let's just jump right into it, man, Nas, man, King's Disease, man, and I'm just gonna say right off him, well, it's 13 tracks, but I'm just gonna say right off back, man, the album cover, cold, man, this one of the coldest album covers of the year, it got, like, it's like the um like the little king it's like the king throne with like these you could tell they like they black children. The angels, they black babies, but like you could tell you could tell they angels, but they like covered in like blood red. And um it's like a crown and you know, like a big ass machete and just a whole bunch of king style shit, the way the flowers and the whole just whole scenery and that old school king shit like the the pig head and all that good food and all that shit. But um they you know, cause that's how you they used to feast back in the day and them last suppers and all that stuff and they they used to be like a big thing, man. They ain't have all the shit that we had now. So a uh, feast was a big ass thing, but this whole cover cold, man. It's a beautiful artwork, man. I'm, I'm definitely rocking with this artwork. Definitely one of the best artworks of the of the year. Probably gonna be of the decade too. But yeah, this is a hard artwork. But man, let's just get right into it. The first song, King's Disease. Um, the intro, King's Disease. That's what he calls it. To me, this is one of the, one of my favorite tracks on the album. It's good. I like the beat and stuff. It changed. It, it's it's kind of quick. It's, it's intro though, you know, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest Nas fan, so you know, like all you heavy Nas fans out there, like, you know, I'm definitely not going to know, you know, about all his classics and stuff like that, for real though, but King's Disease was pretty good, I like Blue Bands, Blue Bands was good, it had a beat, it had a nice, uh, diff different beat, and I'm surprised that I like King's Disease beat, and I'm surprised that I like Blue Bands beat, this one kind of got a, like a story about like a female he knew or whatever, who had a Blue Bands or something like that, decent track, you know, I'm not a huge Nas nice fan, like I said, but, um, the third track, Car 85, that's another good cut, nice smooth tr um, cut right there, it's a decent track, um, to me, it could have been better. To me, it's like the it was the weakest out the, the other two I just named. Then Ultra Black. To me, that's a great song. Got a positive message. Didn't really like the beat. Didn't really like the chorus, but it was still a solid song. Then they got um um, um 28 Summers. That that was to me a decent track. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, you know what? But this is where the whole thing changed, man. You know how my uh, my reviews and stuff can go, man. They can go either way. How I go, man. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you now. Before I even finish this up, man. To me, this wasn't a really good album. It, it wasn't. It was a decent album, man. Maybe if I don't know how them how the Nas fans hold it up compared to his other previous works. So like I said, I'm not a huge Nas fan, man. But I couldn't get with the production on this album. Based off the album cover, man, I thought the production was going to be solid. I like um, 27 Summers. That was decent. It replaced me. Um, yeah, I think that's the song he had with Big Sean or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He had some song with... Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a good song right there. I, I, I like that song. That was a good beat. Then he had um, Till the Wars, um, One, All Bad, The Definition, Full Circle. I believe that had the... Um, uh, that was, uh, the song that he had with the infamous, um, The Firm. You know, everybody liked The Firm, like I wasn't a big fan of them either. I didn't get into that whole wave with, um, you know, The Firm and Nas and AZ and all of them. I rock with AZ a lot now, but back then when he first came out, I didn't really rock with him like that. Um, but, yeah, Full Circle is another decent track. I thought Foxy verse could have definitely been better. That's what, like, I, to me, everybody was waiting to hear, see how Foxy spit and stuff, but... A lot of cursing and stuff. I, I definitely she could have had some better metaphors or whatever. But to me, um, to keep one hundred percent honest, after replace me, after about the first what one, two, three, four, five, six songs. 
to me, the rest of the album, the next six or seven, I could just take him and leave him. But you know, it's a decent, it's a real hip hop. He spit some real shit. I can't sit, I can't sit here and say it's trash. I can't say it's garbage. It's just not, you know, my my um my cup of Gatorade. Like I can't handle. It. Like it's not, it's not, for, it's it's not the flavor I would choose. But it's, I'm still rocking with it though. Like it's still a good album, but it's not something I would probably bump on the on the regular, for real, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, but some of the 10 points, Cure Spicy, it was all, I mean, it was some good music, man, but, um, with everything that came out this year, man, like, I couldn't even compare this to, like, the J Electronica album that came out earlier, a lot of Currency albums that came out, or the Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo album, like, Nas did pretty good, man, but I just thought it can be a lot better, but y'all already know how, how these reviews and shit go, man, I might come back in another two weeks, you know, I might have a whole nother opinion of this, because it's still super early and stuff, you know, man, it just came out, so you know how that go, man, but overall, man, I probably give this, what, a, um, a 7 out of 10 joints, you know, 7 out of 10 you know, that's and that's pretty solid, man. It's all, it's all about. I could one thing I can tell you: this ain't it ain't trash, it ain't garbage, it ain't weak. It's it's, it's pretty good. It's just wh how you feel about Nas and you know the level he at now, I guess you know. But I truly never really been a Nas fan like that. But I definitely respect this album, man. For real though, man. Nas, King's Disease, man. Let me know what y'all feel about it, man. Facts.